Okay. Next item on the agenda is a vote to rehire staff to ensure that SOLFIS is successfully completed this week. I'd like to open this section by reading a brief statement. Yesterday, Josh McCombin, who represents the Gunstock Commission, whom many of you know from his years of work at WMUR, released a communique that stated that per the 1959 enabling statute that established Gunstock, a minimum of three commissioners is needed for the Gunstock Commission to be a viable entity. That means if any of the three remaining commissioners were to resign right now, there would be no quorum and no functioning commission that would be able to hire anyone to ensure that SOFAS was successfully held this week and that the mountains could start preparing for this coming winter's ski season. In my conversations with Commissioner Lambert yesterday, he agreed with this. I also discussed this with former New Hampshire Attorney General Joe Foster, who was also engaged by the commission on July 20th, and he too agrees with this interpretation. In that same communique released by Mr. McCalvin yesterday, I indicated that I welcomed the return of General Manager Tom Day and Facilities Operations Director Pat McGonigal to ensure that SOFIS was to happen. Let me repeat that. I welcome the return of General Manager Tom Day and Facilities Operations Director Pat McGonigal. Yesterday morning, Commissioner Lambert told me that he had spoken with Mr. Day and had secured a verbal agreement from him that both he and Pat would return long enough to complete the Soul Fest event. Then, yesterday afternoon, Commissioner Lambert told me that without any reason or discussion, they were backing out. Despite repeated attempts to talk this through with Tom directly, none of my calls or texts were answered. I do not have the words to describe how disappointed I am in this refusal to honor their word of return and ensure that this event happens. I think we have all suffered a lot, a lot in the last one to two weeks. I continue to extend an olive branch to both Tom and Pat and ask them to work with the commission to make SoulFest a successful event this coming, coming week. There is still time but we need a written assurance from them that they will honor their word that they gave to Commissioner Lambert yesterday. Tom and Pat, please don't stand by and watch the mountains suffer the failure of this great concert. Let's apply what we've learned from this. Focus on tomorrow and resume our collective efforts to ensure that Gunstock remains the special place that it is. Thank you, and that concludes my statement. Uh, thank you, Chairman Strain. Um, I would just add that my recollection of some of that is um, somewhat different, but I have a motion prepared uh, to the topic uh, of your um, statement. I move to restore and process onboarding of any one of or all of the former senior management team according to the documents that they signed and submitted. Can you hear me now? <laughs> Thank you. I second the motion, and also I'd like to read into the record the documents that Tom Day, Kathy White, Rebecca LaPence, Robin Rowe, Peter Weber, and Patrick McGonigal signed and submitted on June 27, 2022. Actually, this date is incorrect. July. Mm -hmm. Okay, well we have correct, it. they signed here, new dates. And we'll enter this into the record. The members of the Gunstock senior management team who tendered their notice of resignation during the July 20th GAC meeting would be amenable to a reinstatement of their employment contingent upon the immediate removal of Peter Ness and David Strang from the Gunstock Area Commission. Yeah. Or 
her resignation, of which we have one of those. Is there any further discussion on the motion? There being none, Mr. Secretary, please call the roll. Commissioner Wood. Yes. Commissioner Lambert votes yes. Chairman Schramm. Yes. Motion passes three to zero. So to clarify, uh, this would mean uh, once put into practice that the uh, management staff that had tended their resignations would be onboarded and put back on the job contingent upon the resignation or removal of Commissioner Strang. No, 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 no. So I, I have the motion which I read from a sheet of paper which is printed. I will read it again for your understanding. Motion to restore and process onboarding of any one or of or all of the former senior management team according to the documents that they signed and submitted, which were then read by Commissioner Wood. Okay, I was not aware that that was the document to which you were referring. Because we discussed this <laughs> 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 can resign at this time, otherwise we have a non-functioning commission. We cannot function with less than three commissioners. That is for the enabling statute. So at this time, neither, one, neither any of us can, can resign, otherwise we cease to be a governing body and the mountain cannot be, cannot be governed. So, I, if you're saying that in order to vote to rehire the staff, that it's continued upon my resignation, I will um, resume my vote to understand the additional information that you are attaching to your motion. So, the motion still carries two to one. Now, I would also like to address the question of the status of the commission. And I too spoke with former Attorney General Joe Foster and uh, certainly there are some issues involved with that, um, but he, well, I presented to him a potential uh, scenario and uh, we are going to address that after discussion with uh, members of the delegation. Um, as to how they can help us uh, solve this problem and get this all behind us and get this mountain open. Um, I have a representative of the Belknap County delegation here uh, to speak to this matter um, to um, rationale why the best option at this moment to open this mountain and to open all the activities of Soul Fest and to make the pending legal situation go away, I would uh, invite uh, State Representative Harry Bean to address the crowd, as well as uh, you, Chairman Ness, along with, I believe there are several other representatives here. Um, if, there, if there's more here uh, that would like to stand up, uh, it would, I guess, uh, Greg Huff. I'm not Chairman Ness. I'm Vice Chairman Strang. Vice Chairman Strang. So I, I would invite um, these state representatives who um, uh, will discuss the issue of uh, how to proceed uh, to enact this uh, motion which is passed. Greetings, uh, my name is Greg Huff. I want to thank you all for coming out in support of the mountain. I want to thank Commissioner Lambert, Commissioner Wood uh, for all the hard work that they've been doing. I also want to point out to all of you folks that this has been a very, very difficult uh, time for all of us. 
everybody here wants the same thing. They want that open. So with that, I'd like to turn it over to Representative Bean for a statement. I don't know if I need the microphone. Anybody here? Yes. Right? Yes. How do you do? Is the microphone like that? Thank you. I'm not really a speech guy, but um, I have a prepared statement here. First off, I want people to know that David Strang is a personal friend of mine, and it's with deep regret that I'm asking for his resignation in light of the fact that the votes are there for his removal if necessary. We are tasked with, with what's right for the people of Belknap County and getting Gunstock reopened quickly. We have the votes to call for an emergency meeting of the county delegation to remedy this situation and reopen the mountain immediately. I would like to say that this is possible through the efforts of the majority of the delegation, not just Representative Huff and myself. Thank you in advance for your support in these efforts. Let's get this show on the road as a one team. Rock TV.